Megan Bowen is a marketing manager for Contoso, a large multinational corporation. With many activities in play, she needs to manage numerous tasks, documents, notes, and other assets throughout the day. Microsoft Planner is the perfect solution, providing Megan and her team with a flexible, visually rich, and interactive view of their work. The Planner Hub view provides a visual all-up view of the plans that Megan is working on. Tasks not started are gray. In-progress tasks are blue. Late tasks are red. And completed tasks are green. Megan can see the progress of her plans at a glance. Megan can move a plan from the All Plan section to the Favorite Plan section very easily. She can also navigate to a plan, see her own tasks, or create a new plan. Planner's main value is helping teams organize their work intuitively and visually. Let's walk through a typical plan with Megan. Megan is in charge of an online marketing campaign for a new Contoso product line. Marketing campaigns can have many moving parts, including numerous tasks, deadlines, assets, and deliverables. Planner helps keep everything organized and up to date. Megan opens online marketing to review status and to plan any action needed to keep the plan on track. Each plan has its own board, where Megan sees a detailed view of tasks and team members. Within the board, a card containing due dates, documents, categories, and conversations represents each work item or task. Documents or pictures get rich image previews, so it is easy to understand what the card is about at a glance. Adding a new team member or removing an existing one is easy. Megan just goes to the pull-down menu at the top right, types the name of the person she wishes to add, and that's it. Megan adds Lee Gu to the marketing campaign team. Megan opens a card and attaches a document to it. Team members can easily find and edit or co-author the document. Every card has its own conversation thread, enabling team members to focus on task-related issues and questions. Note, a post is permanent and cannot be removed. Megan adds a colored tag to the card to make it more visible. When she closes the card, the colored tab helps draw attention to it. As we see here, teams can organize cards on the board into customizable columns called buckets. Teams can use buckets to reflect various work streams or logical categories of work within each plan. The ability to group tasks this way gives Planner a great deal of flexibility. Megan creates a new bucket for social media related tasks and adds a few tasks to the bucket by simply dragging and dropping them from the to-do or any other bucket. She can also assign or reassign tasks by dragging and dropping. Here, Megan assigns some tasks to the new team member, Lee Gu. Lee will be added to any existing assignments. If a task is initially unassigned, he will be assigned. Megan can delete buckets if they are no longer useful. However, any tasks associated with the bucket are also deleted, so move them to another bucket first if necessary. Another useful view is Progress, in which Megan can see cards grouped by task status, not started, in progress, and completed. She quickly sees that most tasks are not started or are in progress with just one or two completed. Megan can also group cards by task assignment. This gives a quick view of how many tasks each team member is responsible for, so Megan can see potential imbalances in work assignments. In this plan, Alex Wilbur has more tasks assigned to him than any other team members do, and several of his tasks are overdue. He may need some relief in the form of reassigning some of his tasks to other team members. Megan will address this issue in a few minutes. The My Tasks view makes it easy for Megan to manage her own tasks. She can group her tasks either by progress or by plan. She starts in the Progress view. In this view, she will just change the status of some tasks, which she can do quickly. She recently started one of her tasks, so she drags it from the Not Started column to the In Progress column. Megan marks a task complete by clicking the checkbox. 
That's all she needs to do for now. If Megan needs to edit a task extensively, for example, to change the due date, reassign it, add a document, or place it in a different bucket, she can do so by clicking the task and making the needed updates. She returns to the online marketing plan. Plans have two basic views, boards and charts. Megan just completed some plan operations in the board view. The charts view gives Megan a rich visual representation of the overall progress and the workload distribution between the team members. This helps her identify and resolve key issues to keep the team on track. The status area to the left provides Megan with a quick summary of task progress. As seen previously, most of the tasks are either not started or in progress, as expected for a relatively new initiative. However, the project has some late tasks, which Megan needs to address. In the Members section, Megan can see how many tasks are assigned to each team member and the distribution of task status for each. As previously discovered in the board view, Megan sees that Alex has more late tasks and more tasks assigned to him than any other team members do. Megan will do some workload rebalancing to ease the pressure on Alex. Reassigning Alex's late tasks is easily done. Planner is part of Office 365, so all infrastructure for emailing, conversations, and notification handling is already in place. An Office 365 group is automatically created when someone creates a new plan. Conversely, a plan is also created when someone creates a new group. Because each plan is a component of an Office 365 group, all conversations in Planner are synced through Outlook and are available across devices. Team members can stay on top of their plans and tasks whenever and wherever they work. When Megan opens conversations in the online marketing plan, the group conversation opens in Outlook on the web. Being a relatively new plan, most of the conversations are about assigning or reassigning tasks. Subscribing to group conversations is an option that each team member can set independently. Once subscribed, they will receive notifications in their Outlook inbox whenever they are assigned a new task, added to a conversation, or if events are scheduled. Megan already subscribes to the conversation, but she could unsubscribe if she wished. Unlike joining a distribution list, any group members, regardless of when they join, immediately see the entire conversation history. They can quickly get up to speed on the status of the plan, see answers to previously asked questions, share documents, and more. Megan sees a help request from recently added team member Alex. When he joined the team, Alex was immediately able to view the entire conversation history, but did not see an answer to some issues he is facing with a launch event planning task. Thus, Alex posted a help request to the entire team. Megan was involved in launch planning previously, so she drafts a reply with an offer to help. Another powerful planner feature is OneNote integration. Every plan has a OneNote notebook attached, making it easy for your team members to share, record, and express ideas with each other in a central location. Every plan comes with a shared calendar that all team members can access and to which they can contribute. Working with a planner calendar is the same experience as working with a group calendar. Every user can select which calendars to display in his or her own view. Her personal calendar is quite full so Megan temporarily hides it to better show the online marketing group calendar. Megan temporarily opens another plan calendar to show events and meetings for that group. As she does so, events for that group display in a different color. Megan closes the engineering calendar and reopens her personal calendar. Continuing the theme of collaboration in Office 2016, Planner is an ideal way to organize and work with Office files, attach Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents to a card, and start editing them right away. When a document is attached to a card, it is stored in the files area of the plan, allowing members to edit them collaboratively, that is co-authoring, or to work with them offline. Megan opens the PowerPoint presentation that Alex referred to in his request for help. She can do so right from the group conversation. Megan notices Alex is already editing the document. 
she makes some edits to the title slide. Updates to each person's view of the presentation are made in near real time. Back in Alex's session, he notes Megan's edits. Alex makes some edits of his own. Megan sees his edits also. Megan is heading up a new initiative soon for an office move, so she creates a plan for it. In a few clicks, the new plan is on the board. Megan adds some team members to the plan. As we saw before, buckets can hold collections of cards, organized in any way Megan wishes. If Megan changes her mind, she can always delete a bucket, remembering to reassign any remaining tasks to another bucket. Megan creates and assigns some tasks to the plan. The first task is to create a timeline for the move. Megan assigns the task to Joni. Megan can define a set of pre-provisioned colored labels to use as tags for specific tasks. For example, she sets the red label to urgent and tags the office move timeline task with that label. 